So what are some of the challenges facing the commons paradigm and movement now and in the future? I suppose the most urgent necessity is for the commons to become more widely visible and understood. People need to see the great diversity of commons and realize that they all embody a shared template of governance and management. Commons are all about meeting people's basic personal and household needs through systems that honor participation, inclusiveness, fairness, transparency, and long-term stewardship of the resource and the community. There's an enormous need to build bridges among the various tribes of commoners, the subsistence farmers, the open source hackers, the open access scholars, the seed sharers, the right to the city activists, the open design and manufacturing innovators, the transition town movement, the co-op movement, and on and on. It's quite a large group of people. The existing of a common sector needs to be made more visible so that people can realize it is often a viable alternative to both uh, the market and the state. And this means we need more movement congresses to bring people together, more conferences and workshops, more coordinated media projects that focus on the commons, and of course, more courses on the commons. Besides connecting people through a shared discourse, many of us are quite interested in developing new sorts of institutions and infrastructures to support commoning. Why not a chamber of commons for a region to bring diverse sorts of commoners together? Why not new sorts of legal licenses, such as the peer production license developed by My Michelle Bowens and Dimitri Kleiner, which helps a commons community retain exclusive rights over what is collectively produced, while others, such as businesses, may have to pay for access to that information. I'm happy to report that there are many encouraging initiatives underway these days. There is an open street map initiative to map alternative economic initiatives, including commons projects. There's a new public policy agenda for commons-based peer production that's been developed in Ecuador recently, and that's a model worldwide. There's a number of books that are popularizing the commons more broadly, such as Commune in France by Dardot and Laval. There are many commons conferences and festivals around the world, in Greece and Spain and France and Latin America. I hope this course has been a useful and inspiring introduction to the great promise of the commons. The next step is for you to figure out how you may wish to engage with the challenges and satisfactions of becoming a commoner yourself.